Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to manually rotate an IEM user access key. You should do this on a periodic basis, ideally 90 days or less, and eventually work towards a more automated solution. All right, let's jump into it. I've already logged into AWS and navigated to IEM. You can do that by just typing in IEM up in the search bar here, and then go to users on the left-hand side. Uh, I only have one user in this sandbox environment, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on IT audit guy here. For the user I want to rotate their key, I'm going to go to security credentials, and then I'm going to scroll down to access keys. So you can see this user only has one active access key, uh, and I actually created it today just for testing for this video. Um, and what we're going to do to rotate for the first step is to create a new access key. Um, you'll see here that AWS is actually trying to help you identify alternatives to access keys. Um, there are a lot of different options um, to either using IAM role or using something else to avoid having a long living access key. But for this video, we'll just kind of choose other to create this access key for rotation. And then I'm going to go ahead and click next. And then you could add a tag here if you'd like to just kind of describe what that access key is going to be used for. I'm going to go ahead and create the access key. And then I'm going to download the CSV file. So in this access key CSV file, and um, you have the access key and the secret access key. I won't keep this around for long. Um, but in here, you'd go and update the environment variable or whatever it is that secret that you're keeping that because you do not want to hard code this ever and put it into a code repository. It should live in like a AWS secret or something where it's safe and secure. Um, but you'll go through and rotate wherever it is. And I'm going to go to done. And once you put that into your, you know, safe location, the next step to rotating these is disabling the old key. So you can see this is the one that we just created. And assuming that we've gone into wherever it actually needs to live uh, for that rotation, whether it's in, like I said, the AWS Secrets Manager, or wherever it is that needs to be rotated. Once you've done that, the next step would be to go ahead and deactivate or delete this old access key. If the access key hasn't been used for a long time, you know, 90 days, six months, whatever it is that you're comfortable with, you could go ahead and delete this. I would recommend if it's been used recently to just deactivate it because if you deactivate it and something goes down in your application, you can always turn it back on and get things back up and running. But if you delete it, it's gone forever. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this one. And then you can see that it's gone to an active. And if I were to try to run something, it is going to like with that old key, it's not going to work um, because it's deactivated. So that's how you rotate uh, an AWS access key. Um, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks all. Happy auditing.